Hello, I'm Attila G. Horvat. Welcome to the YouTube channel of the AutoCAD Architecture Blog.com. In the previous video, I presented you how to set up user interface. And in this video, I'll present you how to make settings for easy operation. Before you start working, you can make the following settings help your work to be easier. The first important thing is to make special snaps active. During your work, you often need to find special points of the objects, like endpoints, midpoints, intersection, and perpendicular. First, please right click above the OSNAP toggle below the drawing window status bar and choose from the drop up menu the settings. Please pay attention that in the displaying dialog box only that toggles are turned on which are shown here like endpoint midpoint perpendicular intersection and extension the other thing you should pay attention is the allow general object snap settings to act upon wall justification line toggle you should check if it is turned off Finally, press OK to close the dialog box. Please don't forget that later on you will continuously need the function to find special points of the editorial work. However, there will be editing steps when the currently set automatically grip object snap mode interferes your work. As a typical case, when an object's start point, intersection point, etc. does not go to the specified place because the automatic endpoint, intersection or perpendicular pulls on the point or the object. In this case, the simplest solution is to turn off temporarily the object snap mode by using F3 function key. And then, when it is needed again, you can switch it back by pressing the F3. Here is another tip for your better work. If the OSNAP is on and you cannot safely specify the desired object snap, it is recommended to use Shift and right click together. Then the necessary object snap can be chosen from a list. In this case, all the others will be turned off for only specifying one point and only just the selected one will be active. After clicking the original status will be restored at once. This works even when the OSNAP is off, but temporarily you want to use the object snap while specifying a point. Another important thing is to allow dynamic input. The new version of AutoCAD architecture ensures to type dynamic input in editing operations for example, for the length of the next wall segment. You can display prompts and options of each comment at the comment window, but you can do the same next to the crosshair as well in the drop-down menu. In the following operation mode, it will be turned to fully utilization. First step to make right click above the DIN toggle on the down application status bar and choose the settings from the drop up menu. Then ensure that in the display dialog box just those toggles are turned on which I show you now. Finally, press OK and exit the panel. Please pay attention that the DIN toggle is turned on and you can use the F12 key to switch it on or off. The next step is to set used units. First click on the customize icon next to the command window and then click on the options to open the panel. For good operation of AutoCAD Architecture 2014, it's important to set parameter value of both source content units 
and target drawing units to millimeters on the option panel user preferences tab in the insertion scale field. Please remember that if you use Imperial Profile, the right setting is inch instead of millimeter. Without this setting, the XREP drawings coming from the project navigator with drag and drop techniques will be displayed in incorrect size and units. Please don't still close the option panel because the next setting will be made here as well. Another important setting is the right-click customization. In order to see the same result whenever you do these exercises, it is necessary to customize the operation of the right button of the mouse. First you have to stay on the User Preferences tab and then open the right-click customization panel and make the necessary settings. It is very important that on this panel first turn on the default mode and the common mode and then the turn on time sensitive right click toggle in the end. Finally close the panel with the apply and close and then close the options panel by pressing OK. Using the right mouse button, not a menu will drop up, but in common mode the first click is equivalent to pressing enter. Please note that pressing enter term is used many times in this series. With these settings it is suitable and more comfortable to use the right mouse button instead of enter, so you needn't release the mouse during your work. In fact, if someone has a better hand he may also use the space button to result the same. The next step is to display layout and model tabs. On the former AutoCAD model, space and paper space layout tabs were lined down in the editing window. In new version, these tabs were hidden, replacing them with two icons displayed down on the application status bar, with them their displays are controlled. The old method is more expressive, so now turn back the old mode. First, go with the cursor under the editing window above the icon next to the model title and then make a right click. Then choose the display layout and model tabs command from the drop up menu so the layout tabs will be displayed in traditional way at the bottom of the editing window. If you want to use the new method again, go above one of these tabs and then right click. You can find there the Hide Layout and Model tabs command for this purpose. Finally, I show you how to change appearance of toggles in application status bar. In the former AutoCAD status changes in the application status bar were available in text form, namely in shortened form. From the 2009 version, because of space saving, these status change toggles can be displayed in icon forms as well. Now for easier handling you can reset it to text form with a right click above any icon you can turn off the use icons toggle. Text form will display immediately. In the next video I'll present you how to start a project. If you like this tutorial make sure you subscribe for more.